It's Dan Earhart with the rest of the news. Friday, the new iPad is officially in the stores, available today. Apple locations even open early this morning. But people have been camped out for days at Apple stores on the streets, waiting to get their hands on that shiny new piece of tech, that beautiful new iPad. Or or the money they got to sell their place in line, a thousand bucks. There's a lady in New York got a thousand bucks for third place before the doors opened on Fifth Ave. What a bargain that iPad is. Think of it this way. The base model of an iPad sells for less than one share of Apple stock. Add 4G and you've got the stock price. Sales records are expected to be broken today. South by Southwest is rocking Austin this weekend with thousands of people and hundreds of thousands of bands. The drummer of one from Sacramento says, it's just like a vacation. There's no point of trying to get famous from it anymore. And the lead singer chimes in and says, we just come down to party, have fun, play with cool bands, eat barbecue, and regret it. Also today, the presidential campaign gets really into full bore, just when it seems like it's been going on forever. It's just getting started. On Twitter, Obama is now in eighth place with just over 13 million followers. Here's the rankings. Lady Gaga, number one, with over 20 million. Then Justin Bieber, Kate Perry, Rihanna, Shakira, and Britney Spears. Now, this is interesting. Obama has 13 million Twitter followers. Candidate Romney has 340,000. Mitt Romney just can't shake it. Just can't shake it, even though it happened 30 years ago. A so corny, it's great Washington Post headline today is Seamus' story continues to dog Romney. (laughs) Newt Gingrich made a statement at a Chicago area dinner night before last. He called our political system methodically and deliberately stupid. What do you think? He'll get a lot of agreement on that one. Okay, what if we just elect on Twitter? Lady Gaga is number one. Okay, it does sound a bit British. President Gaga, all hail the chief. Also today, a new word enters the lexicon, Dokuganda. Put together documentary and propaganda, and you've got Dokuganda, a.k.a. it's all about the road we've traveled, the road we've traveled, which is called an aggressively upbeat 17-minute hit parade review of President Obama's first term. Directed by Davis Guggenheim of An Inconvenient Truth and narrated by Tom Hanks. The Washington Post says it is not sappy, which means it is probably sappy. With music swelling, think of those beautiful movies made by energy corporations filled with sunshine, flowers, and turbines. Obama has not one but five fundraisers today, two in Chicago and three in Atlanta. There's a new type of parking meter in San Francisco that is actually providing an open parking spot, but at a price. Basically, how bad do you want it? So far, up to four fifty an hour, and that's expected to hit six bucks soon. Can eBay be far behind? The rest of the news Facebook page views were up again last week. Thank you so very much. We're also available on iTunes and at the website, therestofthenews.com. Have a great weekend. This is Dan Earhart.